Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have finally got my act together and we are doing fall decorations. It's actually September 18th, I think. Latest I've ever done fall decorations. But I am actually going to schedule this video to go up this Friday. So you are going to see this probably about a week before a whole bunch of other vlogs that don't have fall decorations in them. Mainly because I was going to do a collab video this Friday and I'm not going to do that anymore. So I had a gap day that I needed to fill. Plus, I don't want this video to go up on October 1st, which is how far out I'm scheduled. So I'm gonna backtrack and put this fall video up for you. I'm gonna take you around to all the different places around the house where I'm gonna add decorations to, kind of give you an idea of what I'm going to do. But also, you'll quickly realize I don't like the color orange. So part of that hesitation to put fall decorations up is because I don't like orange. I am going to spray paint a few items white and not add as many of my decorations as I normally do. Go ahead and stick around and I'm gonna show you a lot of my fall decorations today. I am gonna add some more Halloween in a week or so. So stay tuned for that video. It'll go up on October 1st or 2nd or so just in time to start the Halloween season. So I just add that to my fall de decoration. So stay tuned for that. For today, we're gonna take you around, show you how it's looking before and then an after shot of all the decorations up. Alright, so here in my living room, I just have those two shelves up there and here that have pretty much stayed the same. I've been adding decorations here to the mantle. You can see the one I got from Target recently, this little shutter board. And then I made that mirror from Dollar Tree mirrors. If you haven't seen that one, I will add an iCard for that tutorial. And then I have that board I made years ago. And then this one here, actually the back side of this one is actually a manger scene, I believe. <laughs> Always multi-purpose, any decoration that you can. So I'm gonna add stuff to this, but I really like the white and black and natural tone to this. So I'm not adding a ton of orange. All right, here in the dining room, I've got obviously summer flowers and decor on the box here on the table that I've got to change out. A lot of the basic stuff is gonna stay the same. I like the house and the beads and the vase. Change out the flowers and the candles and that kind of stuff. I might add something different up here on this shelf. This stuff all stays the same. And then we actually got new pictures. Let me show you these guys. So I made this thankful sign years ago at church and I've done these photos for years. I actually have ones back behind each one of them. But this year I'm gonna do it a little bit different and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. But look how cute my babies are over the years. So you can tell we've done our family pictures down at the train tracks. See that one? We just did that one. And we've done ones here on the train and this box. We didn't do the blue door this year. Um, look at cute little Ashley. And then there's again that train, that yellow train. I was going to add the new photos here, but I actually kind of like to see old photos of the kids. Uh, you know, the, like these photos here. I used to kind of change them out. Like I used to have, Oh, I actually just keep them up here. <laughs> Get that cutie. So these are all of Ashley's. And then here's Chelsea's. These are her school photos. Someone didn't bother to tell her to take her jacket off. I was so mad. That was probably two years ago. And then those are the portraits we did a couple years ago. All right, ignoring my dishes. I don't know what is up, but I cannot stay on top of dishes. I don't know if they're using too many, but the dishwasher is still going, and so I can't unload that and do the dishes, and it's driving me nuts. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a ton here. Like I might add like a white pumpkin to this. I might actually go get some fall foliage and put it around that little fake cake. In case you haven't seen that video, I will put that one in an iCard right here because that one is actually just all totally fake. So 
that one is fun to just have up all the time. Over here in this little corner, we need to clearly like hang up our cups. <laughs> But I also need to get out the pineapples, take these guys away, kind of do something a little bit different here. I actually might leave the yellow because the yellow is kind of a fun fall color as well. But I'll probably add like a candle and some kind of pumpkin or something right here. All right, and then in here, like I've said before, I don't like to change things a ton because I do like keeping this farmhouse look on the shelf and I don't like a ton of extra work. But I will probably add my little pumpkin garland here. I might keep the, the star one or I'll take it down. And then I'll definitely add something here. This is all kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. I just got this from Target. I haven't really like used it officially. As well as this candle, I'll probably light that. So the house smells good for book club tonight. So I'm gonna change this guy up. This wall, you guys. This wall, I am pretty determined to get this wall done this season. With my sister's wedding, it might get pushed out a little bit, but I'm gonna totally redo this entire wall, but it may not get done for fall decorations. It might get done in transition for Christmas. All right, here on the mantle, I did not change very much at all. I actually just added this little garland here I actually had this up when I was first filming, but that is a fall sign. And then I left my little mason jar lights on here, but I added the little pumpkins. I don't think that they work. I've added two sets of batteries and I can't get it to work, but I still like the orange pop of color. So as I said, I got this little shutter from the Target dollar spot. I made that little mirror from dollar store mirrors. Left this corner over here the same. But over here, I added one little orange pumpkin. Here on my table, I added some fall foliage in that jar, as well as two white pumpkins and a little orange candle down there. Otherwise, I left the salt and pepper shakers and the milk carton and the little wooden beads. They're all the same. Over on this side, I changed out that turquoise cake stand for a clear one, and then I put the pumpkin on top of a candle turned upside down. Works for me, right? Over here in the kitchen, I just added a few little pumpkins, kind of trying to go for the no neutral colors instead of flashy orange. And then over here in this corner of my kitchen, I just added one orange pumpkin. I was gonna spray paint him white. I still might, but for now, I wanted a little, little bit of a pop of color in this corner. Most of the decorations went in this room, even though I didn't add very many. It still does kind of add that little pop of orange without it being overkill. So here's an overview of the shelves that we built. Up here, I kind of did the same little display of flowers that I did on the table with some sunflowers, but kept some whites and cream colors in there as well. But I do have some leaves and that kind of stuff kind of built into it here as well. I find that when I leave that same turquoise color, which is my favorite color to decorate with, in combination with the fall colors, it kind of balances out the orange and it makes me feel a little bit better about adding the orange. So I'll just take you down the shelf. I didn't add very much. I just added two little pumpkins and a little bag to this little apple basket down here. Then across here, I added a garland from the Target dollar spot. It's just in that wicker in cream colored and orange. And then I also add a little white pumpkin. Over here I spray painted that basket white. I didn't like the stark orange on that guy. So I did paint that one white. I need to add new little garlands for Halloween and for the fall colors. But for right now I have my little Seahawk colors. Moving down the shelf I added two little pumpkins to this shelf right here. And they coordinate with the little truck that's on the shelf below it. I did paint that truck and all the little pumpkins. It's pretty cute. Down in here, I added a natural pumpkin to the basket and some cotton ball stems to kind of keep this shelf a little bit more neutral. On this little table, I have a garland that I made a few years ago and I really love this garland. So I did put it up even though there is a lot of color going on in that one. I just really like this one. 
So here in the little blue truck that I have, I added a little orange pumpkin and a white pumpkin on a little wood round. Then on this stand that I got from the dollar spot, I spray painted that one white. I did leave some of the orange kind of showing through and I kind of liked that. And then down below it, I have another one of those little natural pumpkins. In my entry, I also added this little autumn sign. It's kind of an awkward wall. You can't tell here, but it actually is rounded. So literally the only spot that I can add something to is this one spot right here. So it looks like it's nice and bare because I can't figure out what to add to this big huge wall right here. I do have plans for a shoe rack, but that clearly hasn't happened yet. All right, then just to give you a little sneak peek, I left out some of the, the Halloween decorations that I am going to add as soon as we get to October. I really like that trick or treat sign and my little ghost and the little candy corn and the 31. There's actually a little black stand that goes underneath that 31. And I think I might order some more of these pumpkins. I like these ones because I didn't put these ones into a garland. I actually just tape or velcro these to a black sign so I might do that but I might order some more and make them into a garland because I think that would be really cute so I might either change out this garland here or add the little pumpkin garland to it I think that would be kind of cute I don't mind stacking garlands on top of each other if I added the pumpkin I actually might another add another string light set to it as well because you work in ones or threes or fives work in odd numbers instead of you know even numbers so I might do that in order to do that I need to go to Mary Berry Boutique on Instagram and order some from her so if you ever want to get cute little garlands like these here or the pumpkins go and check her out on Instagram I'll leave a little description of her Instagram page there because I love the stuff that she does Mary was nice enough last year or the year before to send me those pumpkins so I think I'm gonna go ahead and order some for myself this time and make a full garland out of them. That would be kind of fun. All right, you guys, that is it. You can see I don't do a ton of decorations for fall. It's not one of my favorite things to decorate for, transitioning, adding some of that white into it. Sometimes I just have a hard time getting rid of stuff that I've made. I actually have a really cute harvest sign that I made and put a lot of time and effort into. I don't really have a place for it right now, so I might put it out for Thanksgiving when all of this stuff kind of comes down after Halloween. So anyway, I kind of am minimalizing some of my decorations. I kind of go hog wild at Christmas time. So I think, you know, calm before the storm kind of <laughs> mentality with fall decorations. But stay tuned as you watch through the vlogs and I will add that ha Halloween decorations. I'm not gonna do a separate video of adding that. It'll just be added into one of our days. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoy decorations or daily videos of families that are normal, we're very normal, we're not over the top, stick around if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And I have lots of DIYs as well, so you can go and check out playlists over on my page at Dana Creates. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great fall and see you later. Bye-bye.